little knife review tonight. Um, if you follow my channel, you'll know I'm a huge fan of Spyderco and also I pick up a lot of slip joint knives because living in the UK that's actually what's pretty useful day to day. Um, locking knives, um, not something you can carry really, um, not unless you've got a very good reason, like it's part of your job or related to your trade. Um, so this is the Spider K or Spy DK. I picked it up on Mass Drop, um, which came in at a pretty good price. I think this was $33, a few dollars postage. Unfortunately, I did get stung with tax, but that's life. Um, I'll put a link to Mass Drop below, um, and that's my affiliate link. And if you want to check it out, um, eventually I'll get some free stuff. So that might be good for the channel, and if you're feeling kind, you might want to do that. Um, so yeah, this is the Spyderco Spy DK. Um, designed for the Danish market. So there's been a little bit of an evolution of Spyderco slip joints over the years. Um, I think Spyderco's um, UK PK um, was one of the first. Um, pretty similar design, not exactly the same handle. Um, bigger leaf, leaf shaped blade with a uh, a larger hole to permit one-handed opening, um, slightly larger blade as well. Um, but yeah, the, the UK PK I think started it all. After that came the DK PK, which again was the, for the Danish market. Now the Danish market demands a slightly shorter blade, slip joint, and also it's got to be two-handed opening. So the uh, the DK PK, like the Spy DK we see here had a very small hole. Um, the original one I think was countersunk, so you couldn't even get a purchase on the edge. It was completely smoothed, so you couldn't uh, couldn't sneakily open it with your thumb. Um, and that was discontinued some years ago. Um, but yeah, there's a bit of lineage behind this. Um, also in that lineup, um, the Slip It range, as they call it, is another one from Danish designers. Um, Voxnays and Anzo, and this is called the Pingo. So it, it breaks the mold a little bit. Very unusual design, very sort of Anzo esque. It sort of feels a lot like his sort of DNA in this. Um, nice sheep's foot blade. Um, check out my channel if you want to see a full review of this, but that's a really nice blade. But again, designed for the Danish market, shorter blade, two handed opening, slip joint. Also, over the years, there's been various iterations of the Urban, which I think is my favourite um, iteration out of the lot, to be honest. It's got a really nice chunky handle, two-handed opening, which is really helpful, and it's very nice. But we'll have some detailed size comparisons with those in a minute. Um, but back onto the Spy DK. Um, just focusing on this knife alone, it's really well built, um, even at full RRP, which I think probably is knocking on £60, $70, something like that now. It's a lovely little knife. Um, FRN, fiberglass reinforced nylon scales. Full length, one piece back spring. Now there was a time the um, UK PK started using a tuning fork back spring, which everyone said was absolutely fantastic at the time, but after that sort of initial honeymoon honeymoon period, I sort of found it slightly um, weak. And actually as a design, it was probably overly fussy. It wasn't awfully robust, I think a few broke, but very pleased to see a return of the large, thick back spring. And it's got a good bit of tension on it. Good half stop. Now what really helps this design work nicely, in my opinion, is the, the lack of, um, so the depth in the blade. Um, if you look at the urban there, you see that the two-handed opening hole, um, finger hole, spidey hole, makes it deeper there. Now what that does is it creates a nice thumb ramp, which combined with the choil there, does feel rather nice and secure. But in practical day-to-day -day use, I do find that I, I bear down on that thumb ramp and I can knock knock it out of its locked position. Whereas this Urban, uh, sorry, Spy DK, 
because it's not got the deeper leaf, leaf shaped blade still got the nice little choil there which will prevent any catastrophic closures but it's only got a tiny little thumb ramp which still allows you to get your thumb on there so if that needle like precision but it's not enough to really knock it out of lock even if I'm trying now simply by pushing on that ramp you can't really get the purchase on it to push it out of the lock position goes out of lock position readily enough but yeah I think that's a really nice byproduct of the design another nice byproduct of the design is of course it's got a smaller in pocket profile so it doesn't take up as much space when it's folded you look at the the side by side footprint there it's much more slender yeah so I really really like this um, another interesting thing about this is it's made from Italy or it's made in Italy Mantiago which is common with all these actually they're all Italian made and as far as I'm aware that means they come out of the same factory as um, Lion Steel and also Fox and I think this is only the only Fox knife I've got which is a little slip joint again designed by Anzo um, and this, the knives coming out of Italy are all of a really really good standard they're all typically coming in the uh, the Bola um, N690 CO steel which is a good quality steel this little chap's come in L Max that's a British blade limited edition urban that's a really nice knife um, but yeah they're, they're, they're all coming out in a really good um, quality of fit and finish and there's a few little design cues which I'm seeing on the rear of the blade they leave a little nub which they can then finesse to get that perfect lock up or at least that's what I'm thinking they're doing so they've all got that little tiny engineering mark on the end there and I think that's just to allow it to be perfectly engineered to get that lovely snappy lock up but yeah really pleased to see Spyderco bring more knives out of uh, Maniago Italy and it's great to see them making more um, slip joints um, what I would say is that the the handle on this whilst I think a lot of people have said it's it's nearer the UK PK than the urban is which is true it still has a good hand filling format what I found on the UK PK um, was that it pinches in quite a, well it's it's not as deep on the on the belly there if you will and that means it sort of kind of turns in the hand it doesn't quite fill the palm as much as I need it to so I'm really pleased to see these slightly more hand filling designs coming out and uh, I'm really liking it uh, my UK PK unfortunately went missing so I can't show you that um, we had some building work done and one of the builders borrowed it and before he could give it back he uh, got done for drink driving in his works van so he lost his job and uh, so these carry a strong karma you see so you don't take another man's spider coat but um, we'll do a few little cut tests because these are razor sharp spider coat always put a great edge on and it's also quite a nice serviceable edge we cut in a couple of little paper to cut tests a bit of um, paracord and then we'll go in for some close-ups okay coming in for a little close-up on the knife just to look at the fit and finish really always really nice edge put on a spider coat nice and toothy so nice and functional from the get-go jimping on the thumb ramp there jimping on the choil so you get a really nice little pinch there and with a smaller thumb ramp thumb ramp you can't knock it out obviously you've got the uh the signature so that's sal's sal glasser who owns spider coat that's his signature i believe well that indicates that it's a knife that he's designed maniago italy Obviously the Spyderco logo on the other side and uh, the steel type there. FRN handles, nice full length back spring, two position pocket clip, obviously closing it up there, nice firm action, half stop and uh, just on the end there if you uh, 
check that out. That's basically what I was talking about with the little nub which they finesse to get that nice lock up and I find that to be typical of knives coming out of the uh, Italian factories. Okay. That's pretty much it. Um, as I say, really nice to have another slip joint to choose from. And a little bit of a different design. Probably a little bit more sympathetic to the the everyday folk out there who aren't used to one-handed opening knives. Pretty friendly looking, very pointy, but I think it's pretty friendly looking. Um, yeah, as I say, pick this up from Massdrop. I'll put my affiliate link down below so you can check out Massdrop if you want to join. Um, every time I get five people that join and buy something, of which I have had no one yet, um, apparently I get a little box of, uh, of goodies, which I think would be quite good for the channel. So if you're finding, feeling kind of benevolent, um, use the affiliate link below. Um, if not, just check out Mastrop because it's quite a good little web page. Some bargains to be picked up. Um, and yeah, hope that's useful. And uh, if you haven't seen my channel before, please check it out. Um, if you like everyday carry, pen knives, fountain pens, quality footwear, denim, coffee, even guitars. I've got back into guitar recently, so I'll be doing some videos on that. Um, check out the channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.